Hi everyone, it's Heather here at Creative Faith Art Studio and today I'm just going to do a little journal with me uh, video. Um, I recently went to South Carolina to visit my father and stepmother. We had a really nice trip. So I took a few pictures and I just want to get them in my journal. Um, so here I just take one of the pictures, I put use double sided tape and I tape it down to that red cardstock. Um, this actually, this tape wasn't, I found, I cleaned out my art studio and um, found this photo tape and uh, it turned out to be really bad, like I couldn't get the backing off, it was too old. So I put new tape on it and that's why, why the, there was a split in the video there. But we put the, so I put the picture on that and I'm just going to make it a little flip out um, so I can, um, you know, see some of that paper. I used some, and I actually glued it on while I was on the trip. There, I don't know if you can see the brown craft paper. It's actually packaging from our meal at the Sanders Cafe. Uh, I asked them for a clean sheet so I could put it in my journal. And I did that and I wrote on that, um, that's some vintage, oh, what's it called? like a notepad that's in the back there that has the writing on it. I actually journaled while I was gone. Um, and then when I came back, this is what when I added the photos. <clears throat> so I just used some washi tape to make that like a flip out photo. And then I'll probably add a little to it. I have some other memorabilia from that trip that I'd like to put in this, put in my journal. So, and then I want to use, so we, while we were there, you know, um, cause we were probably there for maybe an hour and a half We cause we walked through the museum. It's a very small museum. Um, but we ate also and Isaiah helped me take some photos of the kitchen and the little motel room. And so this is a page from a vintage recipe book that's for Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> so I thought that was fitting. Um, the, the recipe actually doesn't use a pressure cooker, so it doesn't, it's not the same, but, um, I thought it was, still thought it was kind of fun. So, and then I'm trying to figure out, because my journal is kind of small, so I wanted to, but I want to add all these pictures, and I was thinking I could make a little booklet, or, um, I don't know, but I was trying to figure out a good way to do that. So I decided to do an accordion fold page that I would tape in and, so I could add all my pictures. So there's some of myself and the boys, and then there's some of the museum that I printed and am adding here. So I just use the double-sided tape again. And I did tape it on all sides of most of the photos um, on this page because I didn't want to put anything. I didn't want to use Miss Pockets. They're so big and, it, and the journal is so small. I decided not to tuck anything behind them. So I don't measure anything or use a ruler or anything to make sure this is straight. I'm getting better at cutting straight lines, so that's nice. Um, and I, so here's where I just fold this in half and make it into that accordion page. And this worked really well. Then, and that's why I was kind of glad I didn't decide to make these pockets. I do on the other side with just one of the pictures um, because I wanted to. Um, in just one one area but I think that worked well so that in this little picture this is a picture from that cookbook it was the bottom of that Kentucky fried chicken recipe and I wanted I really want to add it so you'll see I grab it a few different times to try to add it to the page and this is the last big photo I want to add so I didn't want to I wanted to make sure when you opened the 
open this accordion fold out you could see all three of the pictures the big pictures of me and my boys so I was a little bummed out because I got pictures of everybody with sitting they had this life-size Kentucky or Colonel Sanders statue sitting on a bench so you could sit down next to him and take your picture with him and I got everybody sitting next to him except for Jacob I thought I thought I already had one and then when I printed the pictures here he's not I don't have him sitting with them so that made me a little sad but um but I have him in other photos. It's not like I didn't, but it's just, I thought that was so, that was like my, the highlight of my day that I got to sit next to Colonel Sanders on a bench. <laughs> I told my kids, I said, this is what it would look like if he was my dad. <laughs> so it was fun. And here you'll see, I, this is how I may, extended that page out. So I just tape, used that washi tape that I used. I wish it was a little stickier. That's It's a little frustrating because it doesn't stick very well. I'll have to get some better, um, stronger adhesive washi tape. But So here's where I try to figure out how I'm going to put it in the book. And I just tape it down just like that. And this was a little tricky for me, honestly. It was like, it was definitely a test of patience. <laughs> to get this to Dave in the book. So now I'm just looking at everything and just seeing how things go. I was going to write a little bit about the, more about the stop, and I just flipped back to see what um, I had written about previously while we were on the trip, um, and I'm trying to figure out where to write. And then I decide to work on the next section so I can add a few more photos. And I still have more. I'll probably do another process video here soon. But while we were on the trip, we spent a lot of time at the pool, my, the community that my father lives in. This little subdivision is kind of like a um, homeowners association. So they actually have a, a community pool and a little community house you can actually rent and have events there. It's very pretty. There's a um, there's a gazebo down there and a little creek that runs through and go goes to the lake. They don't actually live on the lake, but they're very within a few feet of the lake. They don't have lakefront property, but um, you can walk down and there's, you know, there's piers and stuff down there. We've actually not never explored what all the years that we've been down there. We've never really explored down that way. There's a, there's a pond you can walk around and they have some ducks, um, really big ducks. <laughs> like, they're so beautiful. One looks like it's got a little wig on. It's this little fluffy white duck with a little tuft of feathers on top of its head. It's adorable. And so we walk down and see that, um, see that, feed them, you know, and walk around the pond. Um, so I actually got a new swimming suit. And I, it was a bikini. I haven't worn a bikini in years. So, um, but it was fun. It was, it's a kind of old fashioned. It's high, really super high waisted and um, very tasteful. So I, I was pretty excited about that. So I stuck that tag in the, or the, what is it called? The tag from the bathing suit into my journal as a tuck spot. And then I added, we stayed at a really nice hotel. So I put that receipt in there. And we had to get some car repair when we were there, which was a, a little bit of a bummer. I was going to get my oil changed when we got down there anyway because the because we needed one. But, yeah, we had to get new brakes. So that was a, that was disappointing. It was really expensive. Brakes and rotors. 
So we didn't make the extra stops because of that repair that we were going to we had planned in going to Creation Museum in Kentucky and spending uh, spending a day there. And we were also going to go to the ocean one day, but we didn't we didn't get to do that. So I just journaled a little bit about that here. I took a picture of the boys at the pool. We had a lot of fun. Like it it was such a wonderful trip. Um, I my oldest came this year. He didn't get to come last year because he had to work and because if he was gonna you know getting ready to go to school and so he but he took he took a couple weeks off timing was better and came with us and we played you know keep away in the pool and my youngest learned how to swim he can totally swim now on his own to see him just gain confidence like that it was just amazing it really was it was so much fun That's time, you know, you can't, it made me realize what more of a gift the time is. I, I know I'm grateful for the time that I get to spend with people, but you know, day to day and everyday life, you kind of, you kind of take people for granted. So just having, being able to, you know, even though we're all just sitting around talking and going, you know, eating dinner together and maybe running running to Walmart because we need, you know, we need more mouthwash or whatever. Just even the trip in the car and the conversation. It was really, it's really just amazing. It really kind of hit home that that's really important to not take that, even those little moments for granted. So again, I'm going to tape this in as a page in my this photo in as a page in, in my journal because um, I want you know I wanted this to be kind of the area for that and this washi tape also is not very sticky so I end up adding a lot of a um, lot more washi tape to that and then I found this I think it's a piece of a book page maybe that maybe it's the um, but I'm not sure. I just found it. It was a scrap that I had picked up from somewhere and tucked it in uh, to my scrap box. So I just tape a little bit on each area and I see I'm adding some glue stick to that washi tape because it's just not going to, just not going to hold that in. And then I stamp, you know, brothers on this, on the bottom of the picture. Yeah, so we had a, we, like I said, we were playing keep away. We had a, there's a little um, squishy, spongy ball. And so Isaiah, because he can't, he doesn't swim, the youngest, he's standing in the shallow and, and then Cal or Jake and I would be, you know, it's two of us in the middle and then one, two, two of us on the ends. So there's teams of two and whoever, you know, caught the ball if you were in the middle you got you know it's keep away so you get to be one of the throwers and then anyway so Isaiah Cal throws the ball and it goes over Isaiah's head and out of the pool and he just gets out of the pool runs and grabs the ball throws it back to Cal and just dives in the water and he came up and he, I said wow you just dove in the water and he goes no I didn't I jumped in feet first and I said mm-hmm that's not what I saw. I'm pretty sure you just dove in the water. And as soon as he realized he did that, you couldn't stop him. Like he was jumping off, you know, diving in and, you know, great, not like diving, you know, like deep, but just jumping, jumping in head first, which I couldn't even do. I almost failed gym class my junior year of high school because I refused to, to do that. Um, I had to come in after school and make up swimming time. And I'd use the, you know, I'd swim laps and use the kickboard and then my last thing I had to do to pass gym class, granted. And I, you know, I was like, I got really good grades in school until my senior year. And then I just didn't, it was, it was silly. But anyway, I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, the, um, but yeah, you know, here I am 18 years old and I have to, I have to take a detention basically so I can pass gym class. And here's my seven-year-old who just 
has no fear and dives right in the water. He's just amazing, not afraid of anything. So there's that page. And my fold out here. And then I add a little bit more of that um, that packaging just to tie it in with the other page. I, I like balance. <laughs> so, I'll probably go back to these pages several more times and add more stuff. I tuck, I find little receipts in my purse or my wallet and I tuck them back in this page from the trip. I found in my other, my prayer journal, I tucked those duck feathers from the ducks that we fed. Isaiah really wanted to catch a toad, so I, we went down to the creek and we looked for him and looked for him and looked for him, couldn't find any, and here we're walking back and in my dad's side yard <laughs> there's, there's this little toad running around so we got to hold a toad so I've got a lot more to add to this to this book but just for that trip I thought I could have I could have used this whole book for that trip so here I reinforced that that page with some more washi tape because the you know I'd go back to look at it and here it's all flopped out and even even today I went I went back to the pages and I'm going to have to add more to the other pages to this this orange page. So now I write a little bit more about our trip and our you know we ate dinner what we ate for dinner at the um, Colonel Sanders Cafe. I guess it's just Sanders Cafe. Sorry. It's in Corbin, Kentucky. If you're interested in going, it's. It's a nice little town. And you know, it's so funny, the difference, it's not terribly different from where we live, but it's amazing how nice the people are, you know? Um, we, we went next door where the motel would have been is a little gas station. We got gas there and went in and got drinks to take, uh, you know, to take on the trip so we wouldn't have to stop, stop as soon. Um, and just the people are so kind and generous and thoughtful even you know not you know you kind of have some expectation of that as a customer of a store but there were people sitting outside like a um and i saw an interaction between a man and his wife and she was working she was on break he came down to sit with her on the bench um for her her cigarette break <laughs> i was like i mean that's so it is. It's so touching. And it, then, you know, you just get a little bit of their conversation, you know, as he's leaving and then saying goodbye to her. I don't know. It's just, it's so sweet. So here are the, the few more pages. I did some fussy cutting around the time clock for the Sanders Cafe. And um, that angle, the picture of the pressure cookers that he used to cook his chicken, I put that in an angle so I could... Um, I use that as a little tuck spot. I do do a little journaling and write, you know, stick something in there. But the rest of the pictures, I just tucked into an envelope. So, but some really pretty, like the, you know, the serving, the tablecloths, and the the dishes that they used to serve the food, and there were some linen napkins and. Um, Just everything in there. I don't know. It was it was really interesting, I thought, anyway. So I trimmed the little pictures down, make like just a little collage of pictures of all the kitchen and then again the equipment that was used and here's the page I cut off some of the um, some of the other things that were in the display case here and then I put that make a little this into a little pocket so just put the three pieces of or put the double-sided tape on three sides of the photo so then I can use that angled area as a pocket
And I was thinking of putting the pictures in there, but they just don't, they don't quite fit. So I think I just tuck them into the envelope. Oh no, I do stick them, stick these ones down here. And the, I think the other ones I do, I tuck them into the envelope because there are some other pictures of, of the museum that I wanted to add. So I do stick these down to the, that other side. I took an old tag, it was actually one that I had made uh, previously, and just used that to write a few more things down. And I stapled that little, I was just going to put that paper clip on top, um, just to kind of hold its place, but it wouldn't stay on. The ribbon is too wide, so I actually stapled it to the top of the, top of the tag, so it would kind of stay on there. So on the other side of this tag, that's where I put that Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe photo, is on the top of that. So when you flip through, there's this is the end. It has all my little bit of journaling. I have this accordion page. You know, I can look through my pictures that way. I can fold it out so I can see a little of the museum. And my tag that I journaled on has a picture of the recipe. I didn't put anything there, but here's where I tucked all the extra pictures. And there's a receipt from our meal, the old cash register. That was so cool. So thanks for taking the time to watch today. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.